Welcome to Get to Plugins tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can replace WooCommerce Variation Select dropdown into image swatches. I'm assuming you have already variable product created in your store. If you don't have any variable product created yet, this tutorial is not for you. Leave this video right away. Find a video with a title How to Add Product Variation in WooCommerce with Image Swatches from Scratch. For your convenience, I have added the video link in the description below. To turn your existing variable product attribute select dropdown into image swatches, head to the attributes from the product setting. Here in the attribute screen, you can see all globally created product attributes listed alphabetically. But wait, if you don't find any attribute listed here, but you have many of variable products in your store, it means you have created product variations manually. In this case, this tutorial is not for you as well. Find another tutorial in this page with a title How to Create Image Swatches for Manually Created Existing Product Variations. For your convenience, I have added the video link in the description below. Now get back to the tutorial. Before adding attributes for image swatches, I am going to open a product that is connected with the attribute I am going to modify. In this screen, you can notice I have pattern attribute with black, blue and green variations. Head to the attribute list. Find the global attribute that is connected with your product. For my end, it's pattern attribute. When you find your desired attribute, check its type. For my pattern attribute, you can notice that the default select type is currently assigned. So our goal is to change the default type from select to image. To modify your attribute type, select edit link beneath the attribute that you want to edit and then change the type from select to image. Save the settings and get back to the global attribute list. Now you can notice that image type is currently assigned for the pattern attribute. Let's get back to the product front end to see how it looks currently. It looks pretty strange right? It's because we have just set attribute type but we haven't uploaded images for attribute variations. To upload images for attribute variations, return back to the global attribute list and select configure term for the variation that you want to edit first. In the variation list page, you can find all the assigned variations under the attribute you have picked to modify. To edit your desired variation, click edit link under the variation and select upload image button to insert variation image from the media library or upload from your computer. My variation is black, so I have selected black color bag image. Let's back to the product front end to check the recent changes we made. You can notice the black variation image is now showing. Other variations are still blank, right? So I am going to follow the same steps for a green and blue variation. Head to the variation list, edit blue variation and select upload image button to insert your desired variation image. After that, press update button to save the changes. For last variation, do the same. Select edit link for green variation and click on upload image button to insert your desired variation image. To verify the last changes we made, head to the product front end. Now you can notice all variations for my product have its identical beautiful images. So hopefully you have find this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and stay connected.